hey, how you doing? Are you all right? So I just want to tell you a story. And it's like, you have friends? Are they really your friends? Well, a few years ago that I had like a group of friends and I grew up with them uh, for a short time and I did drugs and drink with them and everything but um, when I finished paying um, they started name calling and backstabbing me and giving me shit and, and everything trying to um, destroy my good nature and it really hurt and he was doing it on social media as well there's been a keyboard warrior just saying these horrible things and you know you have family and friends all around over these things that crushed me it was horrendous it was like why the fuck would you do that to me what have i done to you never done anything to you i paid for all your stuff i've done why would you do that you hurt me you just hurt my fucking you hurt me you ruined me you're trying to ruin me now now, there's one thing I could have done. I could have just gone, yeah, you know what, I'll oh, fuck off. End it. But you know when somebody really digs their heels in and writes massive statuses about you? And you say to yourself, you think, you know, now, I could say to myself, oh, that's a really, you know, I'm glad you really thought of all that to write about me. But, you know, back then I was quite like, you bastard, why are you saying this about me? And then trying to get them back with it. I'd take myself away. I was like, fuck off. Take myself away, can't do it. So I took myself away. And surprisingly, I tried to do something different, you know, um, with myself. And I remember taking myself away and I went into a Nottingham Actors Studio. And I was down there for a little bit. And there I met uh, Joe Atlin from Misfits. And we did a film together and it was called Breakable. And I picked up a camera, I was filming, which was hilarious. I didn't even know I had this talent until I did drugs, psychedelics and shit. I didn't know I had it. And we did this film. And I remember him, because he just come to, he, it was, he come down for Splendor. And it was at Actor Studio. And he turned around to me after we made the film. If this makes it big, I'll be back. And I want some cut. But it never made it big and we never got finance for the film and I was with this guy named Asley at the time who was uh, obviously a, a degree, had this massive degree in film and uh, after then I started um, just picking up a camera and learning myself and going out filming and doing this crazy shit with, with a camera I, I didn't, you know, filmmaking's easy for me the, the special effects and uh, and everything I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn all the magic and illusion and everything of, of, of film. But it really turned heads. Even on my social media and stuff, it was like, what the actual fuck, what's he doing? And I wanted to do it to get back at, at friends and and family and say, look, I'm not just a druggie or, or an alcoholic. I can actually get off my ass and do these things. And I shocked them all. And I could have carried it on, and that's the best thing about it. I was I was into the film world as well. I was I um, got auditioned for a part in uh, Victorian Abdul, and I went to Belvoir Castle a couple of years ago, and I, I got a little bit of a reading part because of my uh, sense of humour. And, and I just wanted to send that message out to him, saying I can do it, and I can, can and and I can carry on if I want to. And I just stopped after that. I can drive up to Leeds, I can drive up to Manchester, I can go for these auditions, I can go into these films. I don't take, you know, any resentment if I get rejected or anything like that. I'm just, and I remember my inbox was full and it was like full of all these auditions after that. It was like, you go here, go there, go everywhere. And I just said to myself, I've got kids at home. And I thought, I just can't go traveling everywhere. I just can't do this anymore. I just. I just want to send a message out to people just to turn around and say look if you think you're a fucking failure you're not a failure you can do this i can do this you can do this it doesn't matter if you've done psychedelics drugs and drinking and stuff like that i it doesn't matter i changed i could change and trying to put that across to uh, the so-called friends that you used to hang around with and they're looking at you with pig sickness on their face 
And I thought, yes! Yeah, bastards. But then I actually thought about it afterwards. I just thought, I don't need any of this. I don't need to do any of this. I don't need to prove anything to anybody. Why? Why did I do it in the first place? After all these horrible messages and the way that they were, I could have just said, you know what? I don't give a shit. After all those years, I could have just said, I just don't give a shit. I had to go out my way and prove that I could actually do something because I was mindset. And I did, and I did it. And the best thing about all this is, is I could continue to do it if I wanted to, but I just don't want it. I don't want the money. I don't want the time. I don't want the fit. I don't want to do any of it. Nothing at all. I'm here on a tree. I'm sun gazing. This is where I want to be. You know, now, I said to myself, I said, why did I do it? Why? Why did I put myself through all that? I could have just shut them down with a click. Growth. That's what it is. It's growth. But you know what? I'm lighter. And it's better. I don't have anybody over me or hanging off of me or trying to destroy me. And that's the way I like it. Nobody can say anything negative or bad about me because I don't see them. They only know what they remember. And I was doing it with them, which was hilarious. In a way, it's hilarious. No points to prove here. There's no points to prove. So I just thought I'd just share that little bit of story with you. As I say, friends, are they really your friends? Oh, you know, love thy enemy, they say. Over the years, I forgive and forget, which I did. And I let it up with love. I'm like, you know what? You said some really horrible shit. I'm gonna let it up now. For the year that I didn't, I was really bitter inside. I was like, oh, oh bastards. I'll let it go. Let it all go now. Let it go. Just not chill out.